All right, I'm back with another part of the British Empire series, and last time the French declared war on us. They weren't too happy about the tribute we forced them to pay, and they have decided to reclaim the land that we had taken. So the plan for today is quite simple. We are going to assemble the army. We are going to get our troop count up to about 90, because that's all I can fit on the ships that we have. And we are working with a budget, so I can't exactly buy any more. And then we are going to sail from this ferry point here, and we are going to storm Normandy in true British fashion. Once we arrive on their shores, we're going to make our way south, and we are going to pillage and burn every village we can. And the main focus is wealth. We don't really care too much about getting land of our own at the moment because I'm not really that big of a clan, so it's the least of my concerns. Right now, we need money. With money, I can rapid expand my empire. I can start paying for additional clans. I can start building armies. We can start conquering the world. So let's get started with a quick recruitment run and we shall sail over. Step one of the plan is complete. We have assembled the army. It is time to initiate step two and sail across. All right, well, step two was a bit quicker than expected. I guess step three was to pillage and burn. And then step four, profit. We are in the middle of raiding our first French village. And what have we done? We have stolen a mule from the French. That will cripple their economy. Without the mule, they are defenseless. Ignore all the food that we're stealing and all the people that will end up starving. It is all about the mule. What is better than stealing one mule? Stealing two mules. We are truly unstoppable. Although that being said, a French lord has arrived. I'm assuming they are going to attempt to put a stop to us. We may have to abandon the raid because if another one... Oh, never mind. She's running us at full speed. She's not going to wait for backup. She's going for the kill. It is time for our first battle of the day. The numbers are pretty even. The power bar is pretty even. Who will come out on top? Who knows? I guess we're just going to have to jump in and find out. The last time we faced a French army, all of my men ranked up, so we don't have that much militia. We're all light infantry now, near enough. We do have a couple of rangers, which is the next tier above. So I'm hoping we're going to put a stop to the French pretty quick. I imagine they're going to charge us. If they don't, it'll be a bit annoying considering they uh, initiated the fight. Nothing is more annoying than someone attacking you and then playing defense. It just makes no sense. But it looks like they are running at us at full speed. Well. You know what to do, men. You know what to do. They're bunched together. So if I can get a few grenades off, I mean, we could put a stop them straight away. But they are quite far away. Yep, yeah, okay, they're not quite in range of my grenades. How about now? Nope. Maybe it's my throw-in. Is my throw-in uh, a bit poor? Probably. How about now? There we go. We do have a squad of pikemen trying to sneak up on the right. But as for the bulk of the French army, well, they're, they're gone. We have pretty much taken them all down. Judging at the power bar at the top of the screen as well, we haven't taken too many casualties, which is great because I don't have to retreat into Britain straight away. We can afford to fight a little bit longer. We may as well charge, lads. It is time to clean up. Headshot a man. There's only one remaining. I'm hoping the lads don't shoot me in the back. Thank you. Thank you for once. Just not shooting me. 
Maybe they finally experienced enough that friendly fire is a thing of the past. Maybe it was the militia that had it out for me, but now that they are actually trained light infantry, our army is starting to look like an actual army. We only suffered three casualties. This is actually a great first battle. We captured the Lord as a prisoner. As for the infantry, pretty much all of them can be upgraded, which is great because now we have more British Rangers. As for the prisoners, I know there's a lot of prisoners, but I think we're just going to leave them be for now. It would be a bit profitable if I was to capture them and sell them, but I'll have to keep running north back up to London to sell them. So we're going to just leave them behind. Whether that's a good decision or not, we'll have to find out. Ah, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Being attacked has now got rid of our raid. We were about halfway through. Have I now got to raid the... Oh, never mind. It continues where we left off. Well, this is a bit of an awkward position to be in. Two more lords have arrived. They outnumber us. They're probably going to attack. If the last one attacked with 99, I imagine they're going to attack us with 105. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. Peace? Peace? I'm pretty sure you're about to kill me. <laughs> Well, we find ourselves on the battlefield once more. This time, we are outnumbered. The power bar is in their favour. Could this go south? We'll have to find out. I assume it's going to be the same terrain as the last fight. If so, it's the exact same tactics as last time as well. I'm just going to spread out in the middle of a wheat field and hope for the best. Well, as I said, it looks like it's a repeat of the previous fight. It's just the fact that they have more troops this time. But whether they're more experienced or not, I'm not entirely sure. They do have a lot more cavalry this time. Last time there was only about 15 cavalry and the bulk of the army was ranged. The bulk is still ranged, but there's less pikes and more cavalry. All right, lads. Hold your fo Okay, I was a bit premature on the hold fire, it seems. Some of you got a bit excited in the front line. We're going to hold our fire just for a second. We're going to allow the cavalry to get a little bit closer and fire at will, lads. I'm hoping we can take them down in one big volley and not quite what I was expecting, if I'll be honest. We've allowed them to get pretty near us, uh... Well, this is really not what I was hoping for. I have the sword. I shall put it to good use and chop. Well, I'm not entirely sure whether holding fire was the right approach or not. Our lines seem to be a bit more disrupted, but I don't know if that's because of additional cavalry or because I held fire against the cavalry. I do have the grenades. Maybe we can toss a few over there. Okay, a little bit further it seems. Alright, the grenades are proving to be ineffective. But that may be because of my arm and not because of the grenades themselves. Keep firing, soldiers, I repeat. Keep firing. The French fall today. If we capture both enemy lords in this battle, then I may as well return back to Britain purely for the money. I wasn't planning on returning so soon, but after taking down three lords, and the French banner just fell. Right, I think it's time to just send in the men. There's like a handful of enemies remaining. If we sit at this distance, it'll be a while. So we may as well close the gap, make it easier for ourselves, and end this battle once and for all. Yeah! 
And we only lost another three soldiers. If I was still a mercenary right now, with all this influence we're getting per fight, I would be pulling in the gold. Could you imagine how much we'd be getting paid right now? And we have captured both of the enemy leaders. So for that reason, I am going to take all the prisoners. Our men are now entirely rangers. Oh, except for the one guy who got wounded. Who a guy didn't earn enough XP before he got taken down. But I think now would be a good time to sail back into Britain. Stock up on some gold. Get some more troops, even though we don't need that many more. We're looking to get like six. And we'll just come straight back into Normandy. Ideally, I would like to finish my raid, but I'm kind of scared more people are going to show up. We do have two armies to the south of us besieging this castle, so maybe they can act as a little distraction for us. Can I actually finish this raid? We've moved on from the mules and now we're stealing their sheep. And we're done! We have burnt the first of the French villages, and that proved to be quite profitable. It may not seem it right now, it may look like I've only lost money, but once we sell all of the battle loot, ransom all of our prisoners, I reckon we'll finish with about at least 30,000 gold. That's my current prediction. And we have safely made it back to London. First things first, we're going to head to the keep. We're going to go to the dungeon and we're going to drop off the enemy leaders. This is to prevent them from rebuilding their armies and it should make the war effort a little bit easier going forward. We are then going to hit up the tavern and ransom our prisoners. Only three and a half thousand gold, which is a bit disappointing. It takes us up to twelve and a half. We are losing six hundred a day because my entire army is now near enough British Rangers so they're more expensive. But I'm hoping this is where we're going to make the bulk of our gold. Look at all that stuff ready to sell. Not bad. Not bad at all. 23,000 gold. That'll take me up to more than I expected. Not much more. 5,000 gold more than uh, what I had predicted. Rather than sell our additional food because we're overweight with the amount of grapes and grain I stole from the French... I'm just going to get some additional horses just to carry that cargo. And we should be good to go. We've got 35,000 gold to work with. Our army is back up to 90. So I guess we just sail back across and attempt to profit once more. But before we do that, if we check the diplomacy tab, as is tradition at this point, nearly 5,000 casualties. I can't remember how many casualties there were towards the end of the last video. But right now, we're looking at nearly 5,000 in 22 days. I need to thank whoever we got these boats from. Because if I didn't have these boats to set sail, we'd be looking at 7,000 gold per journey. And it's not even like a big journey. It's literally just across the sea. The British armies, meanwhile, have managed to reclaim the castle. As for the castle itself, well, it looks like no one wants to give it to me. They've all voted to give it to this guy. Oh, well, you can't win them all, eh? But like I said at the beginning of the video, our main goal right now is wealth. We have arrived at our next raiding target. It is a horse village, so maybe we can get some good horses. But we do have a militia that we're going to have to take down. And the additional villagers, there's going to be 74 people in our way. The only downside to this village is how close I am to Paris right now. It's a little bit scary being close to, to their capital. You never know when King Louis himself might just come marching out with like a thousand men. All right, soldiers, we are going to hold the river. I think it'd be suicide if we tried marching across. We'd probably take heavy casualties, so in this case, we're going to wait for the enemy. Oh man, I didn't realize there's a bit of a hill here. That's, that's not ideal. Alright, soldiers, listen up. I'm going to need you to shimmy forward a little bit. It's no use to us being behind the hill. We'd have to wait for the enemy to be right in our face before we start firing at them. 
Even now it's not an ideal position. And it looks like the enemy have all arrived already. That was a nice grenade. We didn't get many kills, but it inflicted damage to a lot of people. As for these villagers down with it, we're going to toss a grenade or two at them. Okay, I think they're all dead. Is that a direct impact? It sounded like a direct impact, and I didn't see an explosion. Well, I think we're pretty much done here now. This battle is over. I believe there's a single villager left. And we're done. And now the raiding begins. Pillage and burn any house you see, men. Take any loot, anything we can sell for a future profit or use. It is ours now. Okay, never mind. Philip has shown up. Um... All right, well, we stole quite a few horses from them. We stole some round seas, whatever round seas are. We did steal a few mules. But uh, I think, uh, well, it might be time to flee now. It's, uh, it's a little bit different when a lord uh, with over 200 men shows up. Well, it's not even a lord. They've assembled an actual army. Although I suppose the good thing about an army is the fact that they're slow. So we can loop around and make our way to Richard. William has sailed off, which actually isn't great. Because it looks like this army is heading straight for the castle. So if we stay near Richard, I'm hoping Richard's going to march north. And he is. Okay. And we once again find ourselves on the field of battle. Although this time we are a part of Richard's army. Well actually no, we're not a part of Richard's army. We're assisting his army. But because we're an individual and not actually in the army. I should still have command over my own troops. Which is great because I know for a fact. The British will see the fact that we have number superiority. And they will run at the French at full speed. And as you've seen from my previous battles, running at the enemy at full speed never works. <laughs> Not in this mod. In previous versions, maybe. But in this mod, you have to sit back, spread out, and hope for the best. Alright, lads, follow me. As I said, the British are going to run at the French at full speed, and it's going to be suicidal. We're going to suffer more casualties than necessary. So, you're going to stick with me. We're going to form our own little battalion. And we're going to sit back and assist Richard. Although, that being said, that kill feed's looking a bit green. We never open up to a green kill feed. What's going on? Is today just my lucky day? We're winning and we never win. See what I mean? We were winning the battle and because they got so confident the British just started running at the enemy and now we suffered more casualties than necessary. We just had to sit back, keep firing from a distance and we could have kept the kill feed nice and green. But instead we have now lost half the army. Oh man, what are you gonna do eh? What are you gonna do? I didn't lose a single man. My army managed to take down 46. I myself took down no one. We were pretty pathetic this fight, I won't lie. But we have managed to uh, take 21% of the battle loot somehow. Now that we have taken down the French army, it is time to continue our raiding. I think that village was a little bit too risky with how close it was to Paris. So this time... We've gone further west, and I think I'm going to attempt to hit this village. We are going to have to murder all of the defenders. 
All right, soldiers, muskets at the ready. This battlefield, we're a bit bunched together because we can't really spread out as much. But I'm hoping we're still going to be as effective as ever and put a stop to this enemy militia. Currently, we have yet to lose a single man. There's people coming out of the bushes. Guns at the ready, lads. Anything that moves... Fire away! Fire away! Oh, hold on. We got a nice bunch over here. Oh! You love to see it. This has been a complete slaughter. Unlike the King Arthur series, this series we have to channel our inner Brit, and as a result, we must be ruthless. We did lose five soldiers, but we did take down 94. And now it is time to burn them to the ground. We have already stolen their mule, as is tradition at this point. It's a little bit quiet too quiet there is an enemy lord around this area with about 60 troops but they won't engage in combat just yet are we going to be able to pull off the raid without any interference whatsoever i think we are damn auto save we were just about to finish the job and we're done we just had ourselves an uninterrupted raid. Well, that's a bit rare these days. I'm not going to complain. It makes my life easier. We are probably going to have to sail back to London, though, again, because my inventory is completely full of, like, goods. Our castle is being... Oh, okay. Louis himself has entered the battlefield. About time you showed yourself, my friend. Although his army is a, a bit of a mighty one. I don't think we're going to be putting a stop to that anytime soon. After the last battle, Richard only has 250. And I don't think there's any other British army. I could assemble my own army, but to be honest with you, I'm on a budget and I don't really want to spend all my influence just yet. Well, you got to give credit to the defenders where it's due. If we take off the garrison and the militia from the French army, only about 400 of them survived. With an army of nearly a thousand, and considering there were only a hundred defenders, that's pretty good going. It's just a shame we weren't in a position where we could have taken them down. So we now have nearly 50,000 gold. My wages are pretty much the same because I keep replacing the lost soldiers. So we're sitting at just over that 600 mark. I suppose maybe now would be nice to start getting some land. We do have two armies that are being assembled right now. I might wait and see what both armies get up to and maybe we can assist one or the other. The one army has nearly 500 troops and is on the march to retake the lost castle. The other army is still assembling at the moment. Oh no, okay, I think they're both going for the same target. In which case, I might just sail over and assist them. The enemy are starving, so if the AI had some common sense, they would just leave them starve. And they didn't have some common sense. Really, guys? Really? If you just waited like a day or two at most, that entire garrison would have starved and we'd only have to take down 80 soldiers. Alright, Gwaggle's platoon on me, men. I repeat, on me. We will not follow the rest of the British army to their death. We will organize a nice firing line and we will attempt to bring down the French from a safe distance. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to manage to pull it off. They're well defended in there. But the Gwaggle's platoon is up to the task. The 
the British pikemen have already breached the walls. Well, they haven't breached, they've reached. <laughs> we have yet to actually breach. The enemy grenades are going to prove to be devastating. Maybe if we move a little bit closer now that the pikemen are distracting those upon the walls, maybe we can start, like, assisting them and cleaning up a bit, lads. just gotta try and get inside once we're inside they'll start rapidly falling it's just getting inside we're nice and spread out so any defenses they have should prove to be ineffective i can't imagine like a catapult taking down like multiple of us we are being shot at, and i do notice a few people falling Alright, soldiers, just keep up the fight. If a man falls, fill the gap and fire away. We cannot afford heavy casualties, but we also cannot afford to lose this battle. I'm not too sure how effective my firing line has been. My tactic could have been a disaster. I guess we're not going to find out really until the end of the battle. Alright, soldiers. I want you to hold this position. I am going to move in. And I will see you on the other side, men. I'm going to attempt to throw some grenades at the enemy. The explosive effect actually penetrates the walls, which is great. Maybe I can put a stop to that catapult. It's taken us too long to get inside. What is going on inside this castle? The kill feed is red. I don't know whose men that is. Mine could be getting slaughtered for all I know. My medicine skill just went up, which leads me to believe it is my men getting slaughtered. Alright, it is time to use the sword. Our king gave us this upon joining him. And it is about time I actually put it to good use. And I think we're done. Surely there's not much left to do now. I don't see anyone guarding the front gate. The walls seem to be taken. This man is running for his life. But if I can get a reload off, he's uh, soon to fall. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't know where he's going. What are you doing? He opened the gate himself. Hey lads, how's it going? And it is over. My army managed to take down 70 of the defenders. We earned ourselves almost half of the battle loot. I can't imagine the battle loot's going to be great because it was pretty much just a militia. We did suffer 13 casualties with 9 wounded. Well, we have reclaimed the castle. The armies are now going their separate ways. They're both going on patrolling missions. But that being said, one is patrolling the French territory. Makes sense to me. We don't want to allow the French to surprise us or retake any of their land. The other is patrolling Glasgow. I don't know about you. But uh, I'm pretty sure out of all of our land, Glasgow is probably one of the most safe regions. Purely because it's so far damn north. <laughs>
I would be really amazed if the French decided to sail all the way around the UK and just show up in Glasgow. You never know, but I truly would be surprised. It's time to vote for the owner again. I don't know if they're going to give it to the guy who previously lost it, or whether we have now earned ourselves enough street cred with the other lords that they'll give it to me. And it's going back to the previous guy. Fair enough. I could use influence to attempt to sway the vote, but so many lords have agreed to give it to him that it's just a wasted effort. So, for that reason, I'm just not going to vote. But if we now take a look at the Diplomacy tab, like we always do, you can see that the war has now been going on for 40 days, and in those 40 days, over 7,000 people have died. We have managed to pull off more raids. I imagine that's probably... Well, I mean, I pulled off two of them, so if it wasn't for me, we'd be losing on raids. Prisoners, I stuffed three of those in London. So, I mean, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have the prisoners. In terms of towns and castles, I, I can't take credit for that one, in all fairness. I haven't been the one running around besieging things. In terms of making peace, it looks like we are leaning towards ending the war because it has been going on for a little while and the casualties are running high. But that being said, the Kingdom of France is now at war with Spain. So they are now fighting a war on two fronts. And I mean, 4,000 gold, it's not going to be a lot. We're probably going to get about 100 gold, if that, out of that 4,000. But it is looking likely that the war is coming to an end soon. And there you have it. Another war with the French has come to an end. In the end, nearly 8,000 people had to die. And the only thing that came out of this war... Because if I remember correctly, I don't think we gained or lost any land. I'm pretty sure the French retook their castle twice, and then we just took it straight back. So in the end, no land was gained or lost. The only thing that happened is the fact that instead of paying us 6,000 gold a day, the French will now only be paying us 5,000 gold a day. Nearly 8,000 people had to die just so King Louis himself could save a 1,000 gold every day. But now that the war has come to an end, we must now find a new purpose. The odds are we're probably going to end up questing for a little while, just to keep the gold steadily flowing, at least until the next war breaks out. In terms of expenses, as for the tribute, it did go up to nearly 100 gold a day which really isn't a lot. In terms of our uh, expenses, we are looking at just over 500, but once you factor in the tribute, it's about 450. So we do have enough gold to last us a little while, but we do probably need a war fairly soon just to keep those uh, stocks flowing, you know? We can't afford to allow our gold stocks to fall. But that is going to be it for this part of the British Empire series. Once again, we have taken down friends. But as always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.